Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have learned about the HTTP client testing that is using this HTTP client testing module. So we have seen all those things how to test this multiple requests and also how to test the URL and all those things we have seen it right. Now let's try to implement the things what we have learned in our post service.ts file. Let's try to implement here. Now if you try to see here this is the post service.ts file. And in this post service.ts file, it is strongly, it is dependent on this HTTP client. So previously we have already implemented how to solve this issue using the traditional thing that is Jasmine create spy object. So this is the thing. So here we have created a spy object of HTTP client and we have created a test bed and we have used that one as a provider. And like this we have used it. So we have determined the re return value. So which uh, in the HTTP client module we will be using that request.flush. And we have did like this. Now we need to, now we will implement the other round, uh, another alternative method using the HTTP client testing module. So now let's use this HTTP client testing module and implement the same, the same testing functionality how we will be implementing. Now let's try to create a new file so that I will not disturb this one. So I'll keep the code as it is so that you can refer that one in the GitHub. I will create a new file, the testing file, just how, how I have created for this HTTP client. I will create something like post hyphen HTTP dot service dot spec dot TS file. So that's it. So this is our another testing file. So but we will be using this HTTP client testing module. So now I will be using describe post service. Okay, we are trying to test the post service, but using this HTTP client testing module right so we'll be using like this and here i will write like this now what is the thing we want to test so in the post.service.es we will test this first one get post okay so we'll try to test this one get post now if i try to see get post so let's go to this http yeah here now let's try to see so here I will I will create another suit. So I want to implement the get post method and here I will write here like this. Now before this one we will implement the before each method and in this before each method. So let's try to create a test bed dot configure sorry not compiler. So we are using configure testing module. So in this one first one is the providers. So we are trying to test the post service. So first we need to add the in the providers post service and we need to add the client testing module in the imports. So there is nothing but HTTP client testing module. Yeah, fourth one it is. So let's try to use it. Yeah, that's it. So we have we have added the providers and we have added the imports. Now let we want the instance of this post service. So how can I get? So let's try to create here. Let post service. I am creating a variable post service it is of type post service okay and here if you want to get this one post service sorry post service is equal to test bed dot inject we will be using the inject and here I will be using post service that's it now I want HTTP testing controller right let HTTP sorry sorry HTTP HTTP client testing module it is of type HTTP client testing module sorry sorry not client testing module right so I forgot HTTP testing controller we need to get the HTTP testing controller HTTP testing controller so that's it so we need the HTTP client testing uh, HTTP testing controller now let's get this instance for this one also so HTTP testing controller is equal to test bed dot inject of HTTP testing controller that's it so using this HTTP testing controller we will test the HTTP request now here in this one we will try to write the test cases now it should it should get post when get post is called okay 
or otherwise it should return now here what i need to write so now i need to call the post service dot i will be calling this get post method and i will subscribe to this one so that that get post method will be called so that's it so now i have subscribed now we want to get the request so what are the requests that has been called so now it has been called single request so constant request is equal to http testing controller dot so we need to we need we will be expecting only one right expect one of so what would be the url so slash post so it should call the slash post let's try to keep it like this only now we got the request and let's send the request a response for this one so if you want to send the response what we can do so we can send the dummy data so here we are having the post data so let's try to copy this one and paste it here so i am pasting it here so we got the post data so let's try to send the same post data here that's it we are sending the post data so now when we are sending the post data so here if you want you can also check that request dot request dot method the type of method so it should be of type get okay we can also check this one so now when we have subscribed to this one we will be getting the post data and for this post data also you can do expect of data dot to equal of post so you can also do like this and if you want you can also add this done function done function and here i will be using this done that's it it's completed so we have added this post service dot get post subscribe and these all things we have used and constant request so we got the request and these all things we have completed so now let's try to say, test this code so if i try to test this code so what is the problem we are getting so last you'll see so here it has been failed what is the reason post service http client sex testing module get post should return post when get post is called is failed it seems so what is that one expected matching request for criteria slash post but the url it is calling is the json placeholder this one okay so here if you try to see we are calling this get post method and we are checking that whether this get post method has called this url correctly or not but here actually that one is not calling slash post it is calling totally placeholder something like this this is the total request it is calling so now here we need to test that total request here yeah that's it so like this we need to check it now if you try to see so it has been successfully passed so if you try to see the here testing so if you try to see post service http client testing module and here you will be able to see post test service http client testing module in the get post method should return post when get post is called it has been successfully executed so this is how we will be using the http client testing module in the angular when we are in the angular service when the service is full is a dependent on the http client so this is how we'll be using what we have did so just we have configured the testing module so we have added the, the providers test the post service and imports we have seen and here we have injected the post service and also we got the http testing controller so here we have tested the things on that should return post when get post is called so we are having the done function why because we are using the subscribe here and here we got the request so that we are checking that only one url has to be called so here we are flushing the post data so post data flushing the post data means we are sending the response to this one simulating the response and here we are checking that whether the method has been called with a get request or not so this is how we will be checking this one using the http client testing module if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you